What's going on, guys? Welcome back to County Line. We're just finishing up our uh, our harvest here. Let's fire this up. Last a uh, little bit of sunflowers on this crop. Just finishing it up. We've gotten quite a bit. Did all right. Now I know we talked uh, our last episode. We we're trying to figure out doing a bit of a wager on how much we were going to end up with. Let's just say we didn't quite end up with that much. We'll see in a second exactly how much we end with. But uh, it wasn't what I was quite as much as I was hoping. But whatever. You know what? It's going to be okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, I might have misjudged. I thought this field was, might have been a little bit bigger than it was. But uh, let's see here. I think I said it was 120,000 liters is what we were going to get off of this. We didn't end up with that much. There's no way. So that is fine. Um, but we're done. That is it. That is all. Let's go drop this off into our truck right here. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good, guys. I mean, it's 5.30-ish. We've gotten, well, we got this field kind of done. It was a bit of a pain to get up here, but it wasn't that bad to do it with one harvester. I expected worse, to be honest, and uh, we're done. So, bring on winter, I guess. We got one more field to do today, but uh, we got a day to do it. So hopefully, looking at the, at the, uh, the forecast, the weather's gonna stay good for us. We should be okay. Hey, I hope. We'll see. We'll see in a sec. We'll go double check, but let's go take this equipment home and let's go see how many what we get for sunflowers, shall we? Let's do this thing. Pitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right, let's see what we get for our sunflowers. Now we got what twenty four thousand two eighty three inside the uh, the flegal right now. I've made well, we've dropped some more off. Now I haven't checked what the prices are. Um, I think they're around 3,200 bucks a thousand liters. So that's still pretty good in the grand scheme of things. So we're at still like right now we have about $70,000 in our trailer, which is, um, yeah, not bad at all, not, not bad. So let's dump this off. And then we're gonna go take a look and see how much we have in, in our silo. All right, so like I said, guys, I was estimating 120,000 liters. I know for a fact we're not close to that. But uh, let's take a quick look, see here, shall we? There goes our 24 some odd thousand liters going in. We'll zip around the other side and take a look and see how much we could take out. Right here. And pretty much. Uh, stop. All right. And sunflowers, 67. So just shy of 70,000. 67,000, so I was about half off. <laughs> a little less, but pretty much half. Um, don't get me to estimate your crops, guys. 67,000, yeah, what I thought was gonna be 120. And I also went in and checked our prices. They have dropped eh, considerably. Um, our best price is about 2,500 bucks right now uh, per thousand liters. That's a little less than we were getting originally, of course, like I said, we were originally getting, uh, I think it was 32 is up to, so that's quite a bit less. Oh man, um, so that makes our grand total that we get for our crop. If we were to sell right now, we'd have about 160,000 bucks. Um, that's not bad. I was hoping closer to the, the 250 mark though, so um, yeah, there's that. <laughs> All right, uh, we gotta head back over with our truck. We just gotta go grab the rest of our equipment. That's uh, the only thing we really have to take care of over there. Everything else is done up there, guys. The only thing we got left to do today is field 11, which is that wheat crop that doesn't seem to want to finish growing, even though it looks like it's good to go. Uh, the menu and the map all both say that it's still growing, even though it's it's golden. It's a golden wheat crop. It looks like it's ready to harvest. I don't know what's going on there. So anyways, we'll go grab the uh, harvester up here, bring everything back, the header, the harvester, the pickup, everything we got up at this uh, other field, and I think we're gonna crash out for the night. So we'll be back in the morning and hopefully Everything will be good to go but by then because I need to get that field harvested. Otherwise, it's going to be going to uh, going back into the ground by the looks of things. Eesh. Yikes. Well, guys, it's um, a bit of an issue. <laughs> Even if I could harvest this crop, the rain has been raining all day. And um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to harvest this. I don't know what to do. I'm at a bit of a loss here. The crop is kind of stuck at, well, 80 or 68%. Let's take a look here. Yeah, so the crop is stuck at 67%. I don't know if it's going to go any further than that. I mean, it looks like it's done, but I can't harvest the thing. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, man. 
This is kind of annoying. It'd be nice to get this wheat. I would really, really like to be able to get this wheat off this, this field, guys. Really, I would love it. But I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Well, guys, it appears that Seasons has it out for us today. Um, well, it rained all last night, so that was number one. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. And number two... This crop does not want to do anything. I've been watching it for quite some time here. Let's go into it. We'll bring up the menu. And growth has been sitting at 67% for quite a long time. Um, like three days, two days now. As soon as it went to uh, the golden wheat colored, it no longer grows anymore. It's stuck at this state and I can't harvest it. I was going to actually just chop it down and see if I could get the... Uh, the straw out of it to make bales. I can't even do that. It will not let me cut down. It will let me do anything with it. So it's garbage. It's toast. We're knocking it down. There's nothing we can do with this. We're going to let it die over winter. I don't even know if it will die, to be honest. I think we've broken the game. I think it's what it's done for. Uh, there's nothing we can do with this field. It's uh, such a waste, unfortunately. Fertilized. Uh, yeah. So what do you do there? What can you do, guys? It's um, It's done. <laughs> oh man, I'm a little sad. I'm not gonna lie. It's I was disappointed. I had this big plan to harvest this today, be all happy, get everything done in time, and no luck. Um, so it's time for Plan B. Get back in our truck, Artist Jack's truck here. Nice. Um, yeah, I just I, I'm so disappointed, guys. I wish we could get that that field to harvest, but it looks like we might not be the only ones. <laughs> Now, the problem could have stemmed from a couple of different things. Um, I know there was an update to Seasons when we were mid-play. I don't know if there was an issue with that beforehand. I thought I heard there was. Also, we added the Geo mod halfway through the US Midwest Geo uh, mod. That was halfway through. And um, that could have caused it as well. I don't know if it did or not. I just, I don't know. I'm at a bit of a loss, guys. So, it, nothing we can do though. We're going to be stuck with uh, letting this harvest go away rot disappear i don't even know if it's going to rot to be honest with you um i don't know what's going to happen to it and same with this field here like i thought it was harvested but i guess the guy didn't get around to it anyways i've got plan b ready i need to find one more way of making money still before tomorrow basically before the end of uh, end of our harvest season all right so plan b um it's really nothing too crazy, guys. It's just more silage bales. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do more silage bales because, really, that's the only thing I can do. I can cut more grass. It's all wet, though, so it's not going to turn into hay, uh, and I'm just going to rot then. So there's no point in having grass bales around the farm. I want to make some silage bales. I'll have to spend some more money. We're going to have to take a loan out again. We're at, I think, 150000 in debt still, but anyways. Um, I traded in. I sold off that New Holland grass mower we had. And we've kind of upgraded, well, definitely upgraded, to some John Deere Novacat uh, upgrades. Nice looking mower system here. Now, to be honest, this is a bit much for what we're going to be, what tractor we're going to be using it on. Um, we'll see how that works. I don't know. So, I've only got really two tractors that I can use this stuff with. Number one, well, I've got the, uh, what is it, the 8530 over there. That one would definitely handle anything here. And as well, we've got the smaller 70, 7810 over there, um, which is only, I think, 170 horsepower, something along those lines. The problem with that is its overall weight. Now, I want to do everything all at once, of course. So the only thing I can really do is have the 8530 carry the bale of trailer, trailer because it doesn't have anything on the front to connect to. There's no front connection point, no three-point connection, no PTO, nothing fun like that. Where is the uh, the 7010 has got everything, so I can connect the mower to the front and the uh, the wind rower to the back. I think that should work. The problem we're going to run into, I think, is going to be with weight. So let's test this out. Now, of course, yeah, we know this is going to work. There's no end ifs or buts about this. This is a great tractor for bailing. Um, lots of power. It's got the duels in the back, so no problem whatsoever with that. Not worry about that. But this is going to be a bit of an issue with this 7810. It's just not enough horsepower and not a lot of weight in the back end. Now, I thought maybe we could put the um, the larger 
a mower, this one here, the Novacat ED, on the back. But the problem is that there's nowhere to connect the weeder to, or the uh, windrower. The windrower does not connect to the back on, on these. It's just uh, one of the pin, simple pin hitch. So that's not an option. Now, see, this is the problem I was worried about right here. <laughs> like, we are... Um, yeah, it's not great, guys. It's not great. Now, maybe once we get connected, it'll be enough weight to keep us in line. I don't know. Oh, man. Well, you know what? It's not the best. But it is what it is. At least it's four-wheel drive. So that will get us out there. Once we drop the mower, drop that wind roar, I'm hoping that it will work okay but I don't really have a better option right now without using a bunch of money let's get this guy going in line again perfect it'll paw it lined up and let's go now we're doing this the smart way this time of course we know what's happening we know that we need to make these into silage bales we have no intentions on keeping them as hay or grass oh man look at this this is ridiculous <laughs> My back tires even touched the ground. Oh, uh, I could use a weight that had a pin hitch on the back. Maybe that would work. If I had a weight with a pin hitch, uh, that might do the trick. I don't know. We're going to open that. We're going to drop that down. We're going to drop those down. Okay. Let's see if we can get this to work. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Everything looks like it's ready to run. Fire it up there. Fire that one up there. Drop it down. Actually, you know what? We don't need to drop that one by itself. We should be able to drop everything down all at once. Yeah, there we go. All right. I think we are okay. Let's just see. Do I have power? I do. And how's our wind roller working? Oh, yes. Okay, guys. I think we are in business. All right. That is actually going to work. It's a little underpowered for sure, but whatever. All right, I just need to make sure that uh, he is set up properly here. We gotta make sure he doesn't know what he's doing. Drop that, drop that, fire it up. And there we go. Rock and roll time, perfect, I'm happy. I think we're okay there. Let's uh, let's give this a go, guys. Game on. Oh man, man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, there's not a lot of horsepower left here. Like that was me accelerating at full bore. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, he's missing. He's set up the wrong way. All right. See, and that's the problem with follow me. If you don't notice one little thing, it's okay. We can fix that really quickly, but just a pain when that happens. And there we go. So, yeah, of course, we had him set up uh, to be offset when we had the last mower because it was off to the one side. Now everything's going dead center, and we're getting all our grass this time. I know a few didn't think I got enough of the grass the last time. This time, it shouldn't be a problem. I think we're getting absolutely everything. Yeah. No more complaints, right? This is actually a good view. I don't mind this. Oh, this is good. And that wind roar actually is a perfect size for this mower setup. As much as I dislike that wind roar, it is perfect as far as width goes comparatively to our mowers that we've got set up in here now. Pretty happy with that. Awesome. All right, we should be pumping out bales. We are. Now, this hill is going to be the make or break, I think, guys. If we can make this hill, we are golden. If not, well, that's going to be something we're going to have to figure out. I don't know if we can do it or not yet. I really don't. Come on, you can do this. Come on, baby, get up there. Go, 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 come on. You can do this. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is not looking good. Four. Three. Come on, get up there. Come on. Oh, it's struggling. She's struggling. Get up that hill. Come on. Oh, maybe. Maybe the John Deere could do it. <laughs> I think we're okay. I think it's actually going to pull it up. Nice. A little bit of slipping going on, but not much. It's just a power issue. It's not a traction issue. It is surely just a, a power issue with this tractor. I wish we had a better option right now, but we don't. All right, so he's good. We're getting lots of bales. All right, all right. We made it up. 
And now it's time to speed through this portion. Awesome. All right. Well, let's do this thing. Last couple passes left. Man, this is a lot better system than what we had before that New Holland one. Not that there's a problem with the New Holland. Ooh, better just throw up here. Um, the New Holland mower. But this one, I mean, it's quite a bit bigger, obviously, having two of these Nova Cats up front here. And, uh, well, had our bailer following in, in behind. Just the two of us going to town. It does seem to work out fairly decently. Now, like I said, this tractor is a little underpowered. Oh, we're going way faster than we need to be going here. That's okay. Um, a little underpowered for this field. Well, for this job. But it does the job. We managed to get up the hill. That's the biggest hill I think we're going to find on this map. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, but it just is a little bit on the underpowered side. Definitely. The other thing I noticed. So I've got the door open. I've got the rear window open back here for... A little ventilation in here just to chill out and relax and then i noticed the temperature it's four degrees <laughs> it's four degrees uh, we would be so frozen <laughs> that's so cold oh man i'd be miserable grab this one here boom so we're getting a lot more than we did uh, last time i do believe this seems like it's a pretty good haul guys pretty good little haul pretty good little haul pretty good haul how about we go with that yeah, things are looking really good as far as the amount of bales we're getting out of this. So that is nice. At least something's looking up for us. I don't really know, because I don't know what to do with our other field there. I don't know if that's going to be permanent. I don't know if we're going to have more issues like that come the new year with this. I really don't know what to expect. So, I don't know. We'll have to find out, I suppose. Uh, it's just that it does seem odd that that was the only field that had the problem. My sunflower and my corn did not, so I'm a little bit concerned that, um, yeah, I don't know what to expect coming going for the next year. So I guess we'll replant and see. That's all we can really do, I guess. So, anyways, let's uh, finish off this. We've got a couple more passes to make here, and then we're gonna start collecting bales. I've got a lease that Anderson wrapper all over again. Or wrap a whole bunch more, whole bunch more bales, guys. And then we're back picking up bales again. Man, so many bales, guys. So many bales. Oh well, it's um relatively easy for me to do, so that's kind of nice. It doesn't take a lot of poor planning. Um, as you can see here, we just noticed that this grass field was good to go once again, so um, time to get to work, right? Now, uh, the one thing I am, I don't know if noticing or what you want to call it, but this map just does not have a lot of cell points. Um, oh, geez, leave it there. Leave it there. That was, that was rough. That was way too rough. The cell points, oh man, they seem to be fairly specific. Now, the BGA is the only place I can take silage bales. Now, if you guys remember, uh, we were getting, how much on Oakfield? It was about, I want to say like $3,000 a bale. Something along those lines. It might have been even more, to be honest. I don't think we're going to get even close to that. These bales are... The four thousands, yeah, and I think we're a thousand or three hundred bucks um, a bale. So, well, you do the math there. Not a lot of tough, uh, tough additions going on for us. So I'm just surprised uh, that there's not more, more of a uh, a BGA somewhere. It's something else we could sell our bales to because it's just not really that cost effective right now. I mean, I guess anything you have lots of and you sell it, that's always beneficial, but. Uh, it'd be nice if we had Oakfield prices here, that's for sure. So we got about two-thirds of that field done. Look at all the bale stacks we got here. We got a lot of wrapping going on, guys. A lot of we already got the Ace, uh, the Anderson uh, wrapper sitting right there. It's on lease once again. I've got it sitting ready to go. But, uh, yeah, it does work exactly. We'll do the exact same thing what we had on our last one. Just down the center here. We'd probably have to come over one more to be perfectly honest as well. You can see we cut the grass in here just because we were over here. I'm like, ah, why not? Let's cut it. Let's do it. And uh, we, got, we got like two stacks of bales from that alone. You can see there we got uh, a little less than, uh, maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit right around the third mark, I think. Be my rough guesstimation on that one. Looks good. So we do need to wrap all these bales back up. Otherwise, they're just going to start disappearing. As we found out so no, uh, last time. But uh, this one looks like it should be just a simple wrap, and uh, we'll sell them off later on. That's all it should take. 
Anyways, guys, that is really going to do it for us. I've got to work on this. I need to uh, do some playing on the side here to get us caught back up. I think we're going to be okay now, even with my little mess up there. But what do you do? I really I mean, what do you do? I uh, get over that. Oh, don't do that. There we go. That's better. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to drop a like. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. But I will see you guys next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.